Pride in the Hills was created because before it existed, there was no community-based funder in the state of Connecticut that served the LGBTQ community. And in the four years we've been in existence, we have given away over $115,000 in grants and scholarships. One of the things that I love are the scholarships that we give to young people, and I'm inspired by their individual ideas and what they want to do. Decisions are made at Pride in the Hills by our advisory board. And every member of the advisory board and the grant committees has a vote. Being seen is something that doesn't always happen. In collective giving, it's a fund that directly serves LGBTQ people, and so they are seen. SHAG is a CNBC event. We talk about an LGBTQI community. But in order for there to be a community, there needs to be times when folks come together. SHAG is a time when as an organization, Pride in the Hills has many different human beings with many unique gifts and talents. I am a 51-year-old lesbian. When I was watching this young, genderqueer, black human on stage sing her truth beautifully, and standing there with another 50-year-old gay person saying, yeah, this, this was our wildest dream 20 years ago. An important piece of Pride in the Hills and the Connecticut Community Foundation is that regardless of what is going on in the world, what people are hearing and seeing, the people in our community know that the people in their community care about them and they're gonna be there to support them. To join or to learn more about Pride in the Hills, please visit our website.